What up guys, it's a Monday. What does that mean? We just finished up a nice weekend of hard biking, hard running, hard smashing the carbs, hard everything. We gotta give our body a little break, a little breather. That's what I'm doing right now, recovery riding. Why, you might ask, do I have my regular clothes on? Well, it's because I'm lazy and for me, the thing that m makes me have less hype to go out on my recovery rides is the simple stupid fact of putting on my kit. So I just go on my regular clothes because for me that is more of a mental relaxing thing. I just get up, get out of my bed, get out on my bike and it's no, it's no stress. Point is, a recovery day for me, I'm trying to do whatever I feel like mentally doing. If I don't want to go out on the bike, no problem. If I do, excellent. If it's great weather and I want to go out and spin around, what we want to prioritize, doing whatever we need to do to wake up tomorrow or our next day when we have a hard session, feeling mentally hyped and excited to go out and do it. If you're fighting and using up your motivation to go out and do a one hour recovery ride, you're wasting mental bullets and we gotta be careful with our mental bullets, guys. We don't have unlimited mental bullets. Don't waste them on a recovery ride. If you don't wanna do it, don't do it. There's no real science behind this idea of recovery ride. I mean, it might help a little bit with blood flow here and there, but come race day, doing an hour at 100 watts is not gonna be the differentiator, I promise you. So. Keep that in mind, guys. If it's beautiful like it is here in Vigo, Spain, look at this Mekagwin 